Alex is a second year university student juggling lectures, tutorials, assignments, and a part-time job. For him, keeping his notes organized and actually useful is non-negotiable. That's where Apple Notes comes in. Before the lecture begins, Alex opens his Biology 201 folder inside Apple Notes. He creates a new note for today's lecture and titles it so everything stays organized. He doesn't have to worry about adding dates to his lecture notes because Apple Notes automatically does that for him. As the lecture kicks off, Alex switches between typing and handwriting. He types the key points quickly, then uses the Apple Pencil to draw diagrams. That balance of speed and structure helps him stay focused without falling behind. Apple Notes is perfect for this because it keeps typed and handwritten notes separate, so he doesn't have to worry about any elements overlapping. When the lecturer brings up a visual slide, Alex quickly finds a matching image online to drag it straight into his notes. This used to be a lot easier in iPad OS 18. In iPad OS 26, Alex is going to struggle a bit with this because Apple dropped multiple instances for Windows apps. After class, Alex takes five minutes to review and clean up the lecture notes. He adds a short summary in his own words and a checklist of concepts he wants to revisit later. By adding a few simple tags, he makes his notes easier to find later, especially during revision and tutorials. He can pull up all the notes with questions in a single tap. At least with tags, he doesn't have to worry about creating smart folders. Later in the day, Alex wants to revise while waiting for a bus. He can easily access his notes on his iPhone for a quick recap. Just one improvement we're noting is that Alex uses the same layout for every lecture, headings, notes, a space for diagrams, summary and checklist, and some tags. We suggest he creates a reusable template note. Instead of setting up a new structure every time, he can just duplicate the template, rename it, and jump straight into taking notes. It's going to save him time, keep things consistent, and help him focus on what matters the most, which would be understanding the lecture and taking notes from it instead of focusing on formatting his notes or structuring his notes. And that was a simple demonstration of how Alex is using Apple Notes to take smarter lecture notes. But we know everyone has their own way of doing it. Got a tip that works for you? A layout you swear by, maybe? Share your own note-taking workflow in the comments or show us how you would help Alex level up his system. You might just help someone else too. And if you're using Apple Notes in a creative or unconventional way, we would love to feature your setup in a future video.